Are you still trying to get the smooth object switching text effect so your edits don't look choppy as fuck anymore? Well, don't worry because today we'll show you step by step how you can do it and everything you need to know. So for the sake of this tutorial, I quickly search out the clip from Joker to show you guys. And obviously what we're gonna have to do first is add a text. Now to add a text, head to the top, select the T, press on your composition and now just type what your character is saying. So now to make our text look way better, we're gonna add some text effects. To start, we're gonna add a glow. So go ahead, open your effects and presets panel and search for deep glow. Drag it onto your text layer and now just copy my settings you're going to put the radius from 250 down to 180 the exposure from 1 down to 0.8 the threshold up to 100 same with the smooth threshold up to 100 the spread we're going to put to 40 and we're going to enable this check mark that says required for text in order to get rid of this black bar behind the text now next we're going to add drop shadow so go ahead search for drop shadow drag it onto your layer and now just copy these settings put the opacity up to 100 the distance from 5 to 10 and the softness from 0 to 8 as you can see our text looks way better better now but in order to make it even fancier we're gonna go ahead and play around with the character settings a bit so we're gonna go ahead select our text layer double click on it to select the text and you can see on the right you can open the character panel and right here you can change the settings of your text in my case i only want to change the word nervous so i'm gonna go ahead and select that now increase the size between the two and change the color from white to red i'm gonna go for a bit darker though and i also want to add some strokes around the letters so i'm gonna go ahead and increase the setting from zero to two and make sure the stroke color is in white press ok and now as you can see we have these strokes now for the animation we're gonna need an extra text layer because we're gonna have it switch from one text to another and in order to do that we're gonna have to duplicate the current one so go ahead select your text layer and press ctrl and d on your keyboard as you can see you now have it twice and we're gonna change the top one to the next sentence that our character is gonna speak in my case it's gonna be is it the scars question mark so now i'm gonna go ahead and adjust this one as well i'm gonna make the bottom word with the character option red this time only red and maybe increase the size a bit now it's time for us to add our object in my case, I want to use this knife. So just drag it onto your timeline. And now once you've adjusted the size, we're going to adjust the position to do that. We're just going to click on the layer. Press P on our keyboard to bring up the positioning keyframe. Right click and select separate dimensions. Now I'm going to go ahead a few frames because I don't want the knife to be instantly moving. Set the keyframe for the X and Y position and drag it to where I want it to start which is about here. Now go where you want the knife to be at the end, which is going to be at the end of my clip, and drag it to where it's supposed to be, which is around here. Now we've already added the animation, but to make it look way smoother, we're going to add some graphs. So go ahead, select both the keyframes, right click, hit keyframe assistant and press easy ease. Now select the X, now select the X position, open the graph editor and copy my graph. Once you're done, your graph should look something like this, and you can now close your graph editor again and take a look at it. Look nervous. Is it a but as you can see, the two texts are not changing yet, because in order to do that, we're going to have to add a mask. So go ahead to the frame where your knife starts moving, which is right here. Click onto the text layer and select this rectangle tool at the top. Now draw a mask around your text that looks just like this. Press M on your keyboard and set a keyframe for the mask path. Go to the end where your knife also ends, which is right here. Double click onto the mask and drag it till it's roughly the size of the knife. Now also on these keyframes, we're going to have to add a graph to make it fit the movement of our knife. So go ahead again, select the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. Open the graph editor and now copy my graph. Once that's done, close the graph editor. Now select both the keyframes, press Ctrl and C to copy them. Go into the other text layer and press Ctrl and V to paste them. Now we're gonna go to the text layer that you wanna have appear, open the mask settings, and instead of having add, select subtract. Now when we play our clip, we can see that we already have the right animation. Oh, you look nervous. But we're not quite done yet, because as you can see in certain points, the knife and the mask don't match. And in order to fix that, we're just going to adjust the graph that we put on our knife. So go ahead, select your object layer, press U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes, select the X position, open the graph editor, and now drag these till they fit. As you can see, now it's overlapping. But before you go, we're still going to add some settings to give it the final touch. And we're going to start by adding rotation to our object. So select the layer, press R on your keyboard. Set a keyframe for the rotation and make it tilt a bit to the left. Now go to the end where your animation ends and make it tilt to the right a bit. Let's create a new keyframe. Now select both of them. Easy ease them again to add a graph. Open a graph editor and copy my graph.
Now, because we don't want our knife to be randomly fading up out of nowhere, we're gonna add this cool burn effect, which will make it fade up. And to do that, go to your effects and presets panel and search for CC burn film, drag the effect onto your layer, go to the start, and we're gonna set a keyframe, put the value up to 100, press U to bring up the keyframes, and head to where we start our animation, which is right here, as you can see, put the value from 100 down to zero. Now, if you want to, you can drag it a bit further, which is gonna make it have fade up whilst it's moving, which I think looks kind of cool, so I'm gonna leave it, and then go to the end again, as you can see where it ends and set another keyframe at zero and go to the very end of your clip and set it to 100. So as you can see, we have this smooth fade up animation now and this fade out. Now next, I'm also gonna add a drop shadow to my knife. So go ahead and search drop shadow, drag it onto your object layer and copy these settings. Put the opacity up to 100, the distance to three and the softness to 50. And now we're gonna get to the most crucial and important part for every edit, which is gonna be adding a good color correction. Because as you can see, adding a good color correction can increase the quality of your edits immensely. So if you want to boost the potential of your edits to the top, make sure to check out the first link in the description because I have the best color rings ever. And you're actually lucky because as of now, I'm still running a huge sale on my shop. You can get up to 70% off of everything. So be fast and don't miss the opportunity on becoming the best. Now, once all these steps are done, this is what the final product should look like. Well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? And if you're happy with the outcome, make sure to let me know in the comments. Also like, subscribe and check out my Discord server because we're a huge community of editors who help each other all day and you can just get in touch with me or ask me questions. Also, as I said, don't miss out on the huge opportunity in my shop. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.